The acoustic guitar plays a really important role in pop and rock music. Now, when we're playing pop on acoustic guitar, there's a couple important things to think about to really make the playing shine. If I'm playing a song, let's just say a simple chord progression like C to A minor, right? If I'm playing this with a band, I don't have to do as much work, right? Maybe I just do all downstrokes, keep it simple because I have the rest of the band supporting me, right? I have a drummer who's getting into the groove, maybe a bass line. I don't have to do as much work. But when I'm playing just me by myself as a guitar player, I want to try to emulate different parts of that band in my playing. Instead of just doing downstrokes, one, two, three, four, right? I want to make it a little more exciting. Like, let me think what the drummer might do. Like, the drummer's probably grooving, right? So maybe I'll think about my chord, I'll separate the bass note from the rest of the chord. And I'll treat that like maybe the bass note is like the kick on the drum and the rest of the chord is like the snare or the hi-hat, right? So I wanna make some kind of drum feeling groove within my chord. So maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll go bass, strum, bass, bass, strum, right? So bass, bass, strum, bass, strum. And same thing when I go to A minor. Right, already more groove happening here. So let me try adding in one more element. Let's take maybe a bass line, right? The bass is such an important part of any song. So if I'm moving from a C chord here to an A minor, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to connect these two chords with a bass line. So let me go from C, now moving down to the second fret, walking us down to A. Now I can do that same thing, but I can walk back up to C, second fret to the third fret. So thinking back to what we added here, right? We added the drums, which we did bass, drum, bass, bass, drum, right? There's our drummer in the band. And we also added the bass line, which without the chords would sound like this. Right, so when we add those two together, maybe a little faster so you can really feel the groove. The biggest thing to pay attention to when playing pop and rock on acoustic guitar is how to fill the shoes of the imaginary band, right? I wanna see what the drummer might be doing, what the bass player might be doing, and really add those elements to my rhythm playing. Mm -hmm. 